Welcome to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle, and in this March Mystery Bad Is video, I'm gonna do another in my If You Liked series. But first, I need to show you the book that I found that fit uh, the prompt from yesterday's game, which was to find a book with an amateur sleuth before 1970. So again, I'm sticking to the books on my cart, and so there's a chance that I'll get to it this month. Um, but the books on my cart are kind of ones that I want to read sooner rather than later. So I'm going to go with But Blood Upon the Snow by Hilda Lawrence. In this one, we have an amateur sleuth, um, Mark East, who is engaged. Um, he arrives um, at an elegant estate uh, as a private secretary, um, but there is kind of some tensions and odd things going on and then a woman dies in a fire and a housemaid disappears. So yeah, that one is, this one sounds really good. I'm really interested in trying Hilda Lawrence. Um, she's an American mystery writer who wrote in the 40s. Blood Upon the Snow is from 1944. All right, stay tuned to the end of the video when I will reveal, or when we will play another round of the 2x2 two two mystery game. Okay, so here we go. If you liked Jasper Ford's Thursday Next series, which I adore that series. It's a genre blend. It is so much fun. It's set in an alternate England in the 80s, and Thursday Next is a literary detective. It's such a fantastic series. If you liked that series, then I can recommend the Peculiar Crimes Unit series by Christopher Fowler. It's not set in an alternate England, but there are elements of the book that feel a little bit like it's somewhat in an alternate world. The Peculiar Crimes Unit, first of all, was a unit designed in the 40s during the war um, that has been kept going for some reason um, and they but they're not part of the Metropolitan Police they um, they report to the Home Office so that part's a little bit different and also their two main detectives Arthur Bryant and John May are both um, older men like they're in their late 70s early 80s um, and so like, why haven't they been forced to retire? So that part of it kind of feels like it's, um, you know, not, not in, you know, our, it feels like it could be sort of this alternate universe, but it's a fantastic series. I love it so much. They're such great detectives. It's quirky and funny. And there is Th woven throughout the series is this love of London which I really enjoy and you get like you get various parts of London in each of the books which I think is really fantastic um, and then the other book that I can recommend because I'm doing this in pairs for two by two is the mobile library series by Ian Sansom um, Israel Armstrong is the main character in that series and he heads to Ireland in the first book from England to Ireland to take up his first post as a librarian and he is very disappointed when he arrives to, to find out that his post isn't at an actual library, it's a mobile library <laughs> and he's expected to drive around the north of, of Ireland he doesn't know the area at all, um, but but the biggest problem when he first arrives is that all 14,000 books that belong to the mobile library have disappeared. So his very first job is to, is to find these books. They're again a little bit quirky and quite funny. He partners up with this other guy, and I can't remember what his name is, um, who agrees to drive the van. Uh, but yeah, they're they're very they're very entertaining. They all have this similar kind of quirkiness, lightheartedness, um, humor to them. So if you liked Jasper Ford's Thursday Next series, then I can recommend the Peculiar Crimes Unit series by Christopher Fowler, or the Mobile Library series by Ian Sansom. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've read any of those books. Do you enjoy the Thursday Next series? Let's chat about that. 
And before I say goodbye, it's time for another round of our two by two game. Let's play. Roll number one, six. Point of view. So we will be looking for a book that is either first person or third person. Roll number two, four. Type of detective, professional or amateur? Let's find out. Roll number three, four. We will be looking for a book that is told in the third person point of view with an amateur detective. I love reading the, about the books that you find that fit these categories, so please put it in the comment section down below, and I will see you for another video soon. Bye.